SCP-682, one of the most dangerous SCPs, has successfully survived every single termination attempt it has been through. The hard to destroy reptile is defined by its absolute hatred for everything living and its ability to adapt to every environment has made its destruction priority number one for the Foundation. But what is SCP-682? In this SCP exploration episode, we attempt to answer this question. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of our upcoming SCP videos. And very soon we are exploring yet another SCP theory about SCP-096. We begin our research with SCP-682's entry in the SCP Wiki, more specifically its termination log. It contains information about more than 60 performed or suggested attempts at destroying the reptile, including both anomalous and non-anomalous methods. One specific attempt gives us crucial information about the SCP-682 history. SCP-682 vs SCP-001 The Gate Guardian And in case you don't know what The Gate Guardian is, make sure to watch our Top 5 God SCPs video. A sample of SCP-682's tissue was placed on a drone and directed towards SCP-001. The drone was then struck by the Gate Guardian's sword and obliterated from existence upon entering the zone protected by SCP-001. And in another test, a sedated SCP-682 was transported to close proximity of SCP-001, and the lizard was placed on an unmanned vehicle, which was driven towards the Gate Guardian. What followed was a series of strikes against 6A2. However, despite the Gate Guardian's divine powers, 6A2 not only survived each hit but also taunted the Gate Guardian after each strike. And one specific phrase SCP 6A2 said to the mysterious angel gives us valuable insight about its origin. Quote, is this meant to be the garden? 6A2 begins laughing. This is not the garden. The garden is far west of here. End quote. 6A2 is then struck by the Gate Guardian's sword, but survives heavily wounded. The lizard responds, quote, Die, you command me to die. Oh, wouldn't we all like that? But this is my curse for suggesting the fruit, end quote. SCP-682 is struck again, which injures it heavily, but the lizard persists. Quote, this is not the garden, you are not Uriel. 6A2 then spits towards SCP-001 and calls him a pretender. SCP-682 is struck again and falls unconscious. Nearby personnel are then ordered to remove it from the site. SCP-682's monologue towards the Gate Guardian contains three sentences, and each one of them is worth dissecting to help us figure out the full SCP-682 story. The Gate Guardian is famous for commanding anyone who enters its perimeter to do something, which thus far could not be resisted. We don't know what SCP-001 told 6A2 exactly, but from the Lizard's monologue we can deduce the commands. We will begin analyzing each line starting from the second one. Quote, die, you command me to die, oh wouldn't we all like that, but this is my curse for suggesting the fruit. End quote. This is the most important piece of information about 6A2. From the book of Genesis, the first book in the Holy Bible, we learn that the snake or serpent as it is addressed in the Bible suggests the fruit of knowledge to Eve, which she accepts and later offers to Adam as well, something God explicitly warns the first two people not to do. Which is why God decides to punish both parties. The snake hates humanity forever and humanity is now mortal. Given that 6A2 admits he was cursed for suggesting the fruit, it implies it might be the snake from the Holy Bible that offered the fruit to Eve and was cursed by God. One might object by saying that SCP-682 is not a snake but resembles a lizard. However, snakes and lizards are both reptilian creatures, very similar in physiology, and given that the Bible is a very old book, it is reasonable to assume that some words may have slightly changed during the many translations it has gone through. So at this point it is very likely that SCP-682 is the snake that offered the fruit to Eve. But what exactly is the snake? 
This is a topic that is being debated among the Christian community as very little is said about it in the Holy Bible. However, there are some pieces of information that lead theologians to believe that the snake is directly related to Satan himself. In the Bible, the devil is described as a promoter of falsehood of every kind. He would do everything he can to deceive people and lead them into sin. Furthermore, it has been noted in the Bible that demons can possess the body of both people and animals, as stated in Mark 5one 13 where Jesus casts out a legion of demons from a person and the demons then go on to possess a herd of pigs. There is also evidence that the snake is not simply possessed, but is actually Satan himself, or at least a manifestation of him. Revelations 12.9 tells us, quote, and the great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent who was called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world." End quote. There is no consensus among Christians about what exactly the snake is. However, it is widely agreed that it is closely related to the devil, either as a manifestation of him, a messenger or his child. Either one of those descriptions fits SCP-682 very well considering his absolute hatred for people, God's beloved creations. But so much for the second sentence, let's check out the other two. Quote, is this meant to be the garden? This is not the garden, the garden is far west of here. This is not the garden and you are not Uriel, pretender. End quote. With the words west of here containing a link to the wiki entry of SCP-2746. and Christian tradition, Uriel is an archangel who stands at the gate of Eden, wielding a fiery sword, a gate that leads to the Garden of Eden, where Adam and Eve lived before the original sin. This perfectly matches the description of the Gate Guardian in the SCP Wiki, a giant angel wielding a fiery sword standing at the gates of a garden. So despite SCP-001 matches Uriel's description quite well, SCP-682 calls him a pretender and claims SCP-2746 to be the real garden. So which one is the real deal? We won't explore the Gate Guardian in detail as we already talked about it in our Top 5 God SCPs video, but in short, besides the description of the entity itself matching that of Uriel and the fact that an apple tree can be seen behind the gate, not much else is known about it. And SCP-2746 is a very well documented SCP which matches the description of Eden's garden very well. And let's not forget SCP-682 itself says the garden protected by SCP-001 is not Eden's garden, the real one being located to the west, and SCP-2746 is linked. So we can assume that SCP-2746 is the real garden of Eden. To further consolidate this, we will explore SCP-2746 in more detail a bit later in this video. Either way, we are now sure that the SCP-682 origin is connected with the Bible. But there are another two very famous SCPs inspired by the Bible. Well, they all fit together well and help us answer the question, who is SCP-682? We have now established that SCP-682's origin relates to the Holy Bible, but the SCP universe doesn't follow the biblical stories, it has its own lore that is based on them. God, the creator of the universe, is represented as SCP-343 inside the SCP canon. In one of SCP-682's termination attempts, it is brought to SCP-343 and the SCP God is asked to take care of the reptile. SCP-343 is unable to see it, and when he is told that the lizard is there, he responds, quote, He is not one of mine, deal with him yourself, end quote. SCP-343 did not create SCP-682. This would, according to the Bible, mean that the snake is either Satan himself or Satan's creation. So which SCP best matches Satan in the SCP lore? The first thing that comes to mind, of course, is the Scarlet King, the ultimate villain of the SCP Foundation, whose goal is to destroy existence itself. This is also consistent with SCP-682's desire to destroy all life. But are the two anomalies actually related to one another? 
and SCP community, it is widely accepted that SCP-682 is one of the seven children of the Scarlet King. As all of the Red King's children were born with the sole purpose of aiding him in destroying humanity, which SCP-682 certainly does. And let's not forget that the children of the Scarlet King, a cult dedicated to bringing the Scarlet King in our dimension, is nicknamed a Satanic Cult. So it is reasonable to assume that the Scarlet King is the devil in the SCP universe and SCP-682, the snake, is one of his children. It should be noted, however, that all SCP-231 instances the Scarlet King's brides gave birth within the lifetime of the Foundation, and the biblical story of the Garden happens thousands of years before that, but this can be explained by the fact that SCP-343 banished SCP-682 from the Garden many years ago, only for the indestructible lizard to find its way back into our physical world thousands of years later by being born by one of the Scarlet King's brides. But let's go back to SCP-2746, the Garden of Eden, as this provides us with even more hints. SCP-2746, Object Class Euclid, is a tunnel located in Las Vegas, Nevada, which functions as a portal leading to a massive extra-dimensional garden inhabited by several hundred intelligent animals. In its description, it is stated that the garden used to contain humans as well, which were banished forever as a result of committing sin. And besides being banished, the maker gave them the need to eat and drink. This of course perfectly matches with the biblical garden's description. And let's not forget that SCP-2746 is linked in SCP-682's termination attempt, further proving 682 and 2746's connection. Let's summarize what we know so far. During the test, when SCP-682 was put against the Gate Guardian, the lizard says it was cursed for suggesting the fruit, which hints the anomaly is related to the Bible. It also calls the Gate Guardian a pretender and claims SCP-2746 is the real Garden of Eden. SCP-2746 is a garden full of animals, which once contained humans. They committed sin, however which forced the garden's creator to punish them and banish them forever. In the Bible, a snake suggested the fruit to Eve and was punished for this. As a result, the snake forever hated humanity. SCP-682 is very similar to a snake in physiology, and the difference in definition can be explained by the thousands of years in which the Bible was rewritten and the meaning of words changed. SCP-343 the SCP Wiki's representation of God was once put against 6A2 and upon realizing this claimed it didn't create the anomaly. And finally, if the SCP God didn't create it, then the SCP Devil did, the Scarlet King. So SCP 682's desire to destroy all life becomes very clear. It is the Devil's son, after all. This concludes our SCP 682 theory video. So what do you think? Is this the true identity of SCP-682? Do you think this SCP origin fits well into the SCP lore? What other SCP backstory videos would you like us to do next? Please let us know in the comments and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this type of content, as we have many more interesting videos coming up such as SCP theories on some of the scariest SCP creatures, top 5 SCP videos and more scary SCP videos. And as always, we will see you in the next video.